Don't worry. I'll watch over him. Goodbye, Sarah. It's time for me to face the future. Rest well. Just a child? Could it have died here? Please, I've had enough of the circus. This gate is shut tight. What could be so important inside? A radio. Wonder if I can get any news from the outside world. Today the world mourns as children who successfully responded to the hope drug begin to die. Stern looking fellow? Where do I know him from? Impressive, isn't it? Yes. The artist really captured his strength in this pose. I'd introduce you to him, but he's... Um, visiting my mother. She's been feeling run down lately, so my father thought it best that she get some rest at the clinic. I guess we should be going. We don't... Uh... Jacob! I wasn't expecting you. I assumed with finals coming up next week that you'd be spending your time in the library. Instead, I find you here, wasting valuable time. I've more than prepared for the finals, Father. You needn't be concerned. I'll do just fine. You'll do just fine? Fine. Is that your goal? I thought I taught you better than that. Anyone can do fine. I don't want you to be just like every other student at medical school turns out. Remain focused on what is important, Jacob. Yes, Father. Huh. A pipe valve. Strange thing to hide behind a painting. What a strange device. I wonder what it controls. There's a hexagonal hole at this pipe junction. Hmm. Pipe valve. See if that accomplished anything. What a strange device. I wonder what it controls. It seems that the rotating electromagnet is linked to the stone weight, but what is the machine's purpose? Interesting. Oh my god, it looks like a slaughterhouse. Let me help you. God, such an idiot. Patience is the key, Max. Never let the problem get the better of you. You know, I wasn't always this brilliant. <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh, 
I used to botch my lab tests constantly, but I stuck with it and learned from my mistakes. You're my brightest student, Max, and you have the most potential out of all your classmates. Now come on, we still have a lot of work to do. <sighs> Keep seeing things. There's blood everywhere. Who would butcher these people like this? Hmm. The local authorities are becoming increasingly suspicious of events here at the asylum. To ensure that my research continues unabated, I must rewrite the locking code for the back lab and move the subject's bodies down to the crematorium before the sheriff arrives for an inspection. The chalkboards must also be washed clean, for they contain the encrypted codes... Hey, Dr. To... Morgan, uh, you know, we looked everywhere, but we ain't been able to find them. What? That's the third time this week. But I mean, uh, I mean, maybe... Spare me your insight. You're pathetic. A man cannot vanish into... <laughs> Both of you. Get this wretch out of here. He's too damn old for my purposes. As for our missing patient, I'll find him myself. Yeah, but well, what about this stuff? Uh, shouldn't we ought to clean up here? I mean, before the inspection, I mean... I'm uh, aware of it. We'll take care of this mess after we find him. Oh, God. It's terrible. What was I thinking? There's some kind of electronic security system on this door. Oh god. It's terrible! I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. I stand at a crossroads. Shall I venture forth? to unravel the mysteries that lurk beneath the mundane flesh, or turn back in fear of what I may find. At times, I feel as though the weight of the world rests upon my weary shoulders. Lacking any sense of direction, I have blindly followed in the footsteps of those who walked before me. Valiant, though my intentions may have been, I was powerless to stem the tide of insanity that washed against the shores of the asylum. Although conventional medicine has yielded a few encouraging results, I see no indication that an answer will be found using those methods. The time for conservative medicine has passed, and a new approach is necessary. Outside of the mainstream, with scalpel in hand and hope in my heart, I now prepare to tread upon the virgin soil of the mind. No longer bound by the archaic standards of traditional medicine, I feel reborn. Aha! Uh -huh. I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. Experiments 1 and 2 were complete failures. Unexpected complications during my exploration into the brains of the test subjects regrettably cost them their lives. The loss of a few lives is negligible when compared to the benefits that a cure may bring. Obviously, I was in air when I thought the root of insanity grew from the brain itself. Housed elsewhere within the complex frame of the human body lies the key, but where? There are so many dark avenues to explore that I hardly know where to begin. 
humbled by this daunting task. I need time to regroup before I renew my search for this elusive prey. Years of research have taught me to be patient, else all could be lost in a reckless pursuit for the solution. I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. I search in vain for the elusive solution to this, a most intriguing puzzle. Evading me the way a mouse does a cat, the source of insanity remains hidden from me. Darting from flesh to muscle, muscle to bone, and back again to the fortress of the mind, this evil seems always to maintain one step ahead of me. How can I trap what I cannot see? Surely I am close to the source by now. Eventually, it must rest, and when it does, I will be there to ensnare this beast. Once removed from its host, I am confident that it will wither and die like the weed that it is. Knowing now how difficult it is to find this hidden monster, I am led to believe that the age of my test subjects may be a factor. Younger subjects tend to display less evidence of infection. The madness is so entrenched within the aged frames of my older subjects that it is nearly impossible to discern the sane tissue from the insane. Aha! Uh -huh. Youth hides the key to salvation. Youth hides the key to salvation. This must be confusing to you, even frightening. 
but this work is going to help so many people. Sick people. People with no hope. No! No! Calm down. You're going to hurt yourself. Those straps can hold a man twice your strength. 